Hello, welcome to the Non-Bartender's Guide to Bartending. My name's Brett, and I'm not a bartender. Well, here we are. We've made it through Thanksgiving, we've made it through Christmas and the rest of the holidays. Heck, you've made it through 2020. I made it through 2020. We gotta celebrate. Man, we are creeping up on the new year. It is almost time to celebrate. Now, I know that celebration for New Year's is gonna be a little bit different this year. Uh, we're not gonna be able to go out and uh, party with all of our friends that we normally would party with on New Year's Eve. Uh, instead, we're just kinda gonna be at home, maybe with our family, maybe, maybe not, maybe by yourself. And uh, if that's the case, you're gonna wanna drink. I know I do. So, today we're gonna make something kinda special. Today, we're making a drink called the Clover Club. The Clover Club has been around a long time. I just heard about it recently on a uh, Zoom networking call for, uh, for my job, my real job, since I'm not getting paid to do this. This is all for free, just for you, by the way. Uh, so I heard about this recently, and I thought I'd give it a try, and I've really come to enjoy it. So I'm gonna share that with you right now. Uh, this is a recipe that uh, is made down at the uh, Fairmont Century City down in Los Angeles, and I, I think you're gonna really enjoy it. So here we go, the Clover Club. There are a few uh, key steps here, so you're gonna wanna pay attention. All right, first of all, what we're gonna do, this drink is gonna be served up in a glass just similar to this. You can use a martini glass, that's fine. But I've got my ice in here, chilling my glass so it's nice and cool. And uh, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna open up Penelope the Penguin Shaker here. And to start, this drink is essentially a sour. So we're gonna make our, uh, our sour. We're gonna start with uh, half a lemon here. I'm gonna put it right here. Uh, you're gonna use about three quarters of an ounce of this lemon juice. You don't have to measure it if you don't want to. I'm kind of a weirdo. I'm gonna measure it. So I'm gonna squeeze that right in there, get myself about three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice. That's pretty good. All right, I'm gonna put that right in there. Next, simple syrup. I'm gonna take this and uh, once again, you guessed it, three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup. We're gonna squeeze that right in there just like that. If you wanna do half ounce, so it's not quite so sweet, that's totally okay. I'm kind of like that. I'm gonna put that in there. That's basically the recipe for any kind of sour you're gonna to wanna to make. So there you go. Okay, next up, we're gonna put four raspberries in here. One, two, three, four. I've got a fifth one sitting here. Hang on, we're gonna use that a little bit later. All right, next up, we're gonna make this with gin. Now, I know we've made a lot of bourbon drinks and uh, those are delicious. I love me some bourbon, I love me some whiskey, uh, but I also enjoy some good gin. This is uh, St. George and it's distilled uh, right nearby here where I live over in Alameda. And uh, I think you will really enjoy it, but frankly, you can use whatever gin you want. St. George has some, uh, some great botanical flavor to it. So we're gonna take this, we're gonna flip this over. We're gonna use two ounces of this gin Two ounces right there. We'll fill that up and pour it in there. All right, we've got three quarter ounce of lemon juice, three quarter ounce of simple syrup. We've got four raspberries and we've got two ounces of St. George gin. The last thing we're gonna put in there is one egg white. Yep, one egg white. Right in there. If you need to learn how to uh, separate the yolk from the egg white, Google it. It's not that hard. You'll be able to pull it off. Now, we're gonna take our uh, muddler here and we're just gonna kinda smash up those raspberries a little bit. You don't need to do too much work on that. Just make sure that the raspberries are nice and muddled up in there. All right, I think we're in good shape. Now, this is where it gets interesting. We've got the egg white in there. So I'm gonna cover Penelope the Penguin Shaker right back up. You notice I didn't put any ice in. We're gonna do what's called a dry shake. No ice. So we're gonna take this and we're just gonna start shaking for a little bit. It'll get a little messy, so I'm gonna keep it out here. But what we're doing is we're basically gonna get that egg white nice and foamy. If you've ever had a drink with egg white, it's usually really foamy, this is how they do it. Dry shake. All right, we got that. We're gonna open it up. Oh yeah, nice and foamy. Now, I'm gonna take my ice that's been chilling in my glass here 
Now I'm putting the ice in. I'm gonna close her back up. We're gonna give her another shake, just to cool it off. Right, I think we got it. Now, take the top off here. I'm gonna wipe my hands so I don't spill anything. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my glass here and I'm gonna take this wire mesh strainer. That way it's gonna keep kind of those bits of the uh, raspberry out of here and make a nice clean drink. And in we go. Sometimes what happens with this, if you have a smaller shaker, you can use a, a hot hand strainer. Penelope the Penguin shaker is kind of a, it's kind of large. So sometimes things get clogged up a little bit. We're getting it. You can see that coming out of there and you can see it's nice and foamy. Let that go for a little bit. Oh yeah. There we go. Okay, I think we're good. Last thing we're gonna do is take our one last raspberry, set it right on there, it's gonna float right on top. There you go, a clover club. Listen, this is for you for making it through 2020. Congratulations, you did it. I look forward to seeing you next year in 2021. This has been the Non-Bartender's Guide to Bartending. My name's Brett, I'm not a bartender. Happy New Year.